Wow, great music. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, everyone's ready and excited and a little bit nervous because reputations can be made or lost on nights like this. <laughs> it's quiz night, but no pressure. For at issue, here to my right, Chantel, Andrew, and Althea. For the insiders on my left, Jamie, Kathleen, and David. One answer only, 10 second time limit. Shall we begin? Mm -hmm. There was a toss, coin toss, and uh, at issue won it. So they get the first question. One year ago, this photo of Justin Trudeau and his wife Sophie Gregoire appeared in what American fashion magazine? Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair. Tick, tick, tick. Vanity Fair. Wrong. What? The correct answer is Vogue. 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 That was what I thought, but I don't think so. Like um, and that's the way we're, we're doing it this year. Start. Yes. After a flying start. Uh, you don't get to, uh, you to don't cash get in on sorry. that. Question two. <laughs> what was the last country the Prime Minister visited in an official capacity? Do, 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 do. Uh, was that after Wallingford? APAC? It was the APAC tour? Uh, no. No. Sadly, APAC is not a country. <laughs> no, I know. It's the APAC tour. Really? And in comes no. the sarcasm so no. quickly. Okay, the correct answer is Madagascar. It's very impressive. Oh, Frank Can we get a couple of new panels out here? <laughs> All right, I'm next like question to add issue. Mm. How many official international trips has the Prime Minister undertaken since taking office? You have a choice. There are three there, 12, 16, or 21. At issue, what do you think the correct answer is? 16. 16 is correct. We have a winner. <laughs> that was sorry. At Great issue knowledge. takes uh, takes a quick lead. Okay, we have a, uh, a special guest to ask this next uh, question. Please watch your monitors. Here's your question. Who was the last head of state or government to address a joint session of the Senate and House of Commons? All right. And that question is to the insiders. The answer is... Barack Obama. Obama. Yeah, Barack Obama. You are absolutely... Well, let me check. Rosie, what's the right answer? The answer? Barack Obama on June 29th. Yeah. June 29th. Mm -hmm. Right. So the, uh, we have a tie game. Uh, according, this is for ad issue. According to the rules governing fundraising, what is the most money an individual donor can give to a minister? Fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. hmm? Excuse me, I heard an answer. Okay. It was fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, it's fifteen hundred. And that is the correct answer. Plus no, enough. it's fifteen twenty-five. Plus no, it's fifteen. Don't argue. We won it. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been using. We've all been using fifteen hundred and no. all. The moderator has decided the answer is correct. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go for uh, the uh, insiders. As of the end of November, how many fundraisers involved senior liberal ministers between January and the end of November? 80, 85, 90, or 95? How many did you attend, David? <laughs> <laughs> I maxed out at the beginning of the year. Um, the answer the is no idea. We gotta choose something. 90. 90. 90 is correct. Yeah. Ah! And uh, the Prime seen. Minister was a headliner at 19 of those. <laughs> <laughs> those were the numbers as of November 23rd. Um, next question, for I had issue. Name this Canadian politician. Sandy Silver from the Yukon. Sandy Silver from the Yukon. You are right. Sandy Silver. Well done. Premier I of I saw the him Yukon. in the picture yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Insiders, who's the longest serving sitting provincial premier? They could be standing as well. Sitting or standing Brad provincial Wall. premier. Brad Wall, you don't want to consult with your no. teammates? No. You're right. It is Brad Wall. High five. Uh, <laughs> who's the tallest premier? Brian Pallister. <laughs> Brian Pallister of Manitoba <laughs> is correct. <laughs> There's no doubt. Yeah, well. There's no doubt. He's so, is tall. Yeah, he's he's so proud tall. of that fact. He's here to ask our next question. Oh, wow. Hi, I'm Brian Pallister. I'm the Premier of Manitoba. And I've had the great opportunity to represent my province of Manitoba and my country in uh, three different sports at the national and international level. Uh, I am six foot eight. And so, very likely, you've surmised what one of the three sports is already, and of course, that's basketball. But what are the other two sports? Aha. Uh -huh. Volleyball would be one. 
two sports we're looking for here. Yeah, well, I, I know he spends a lot of time in Costa Rica, so I would say beach volleyball as well with my colleague, uh, ah. Ah. <laughs> David. Oh. But uh, another sport? No, you'd be incorrect, actually. Ba badminton? Yeah. <laughs> also need a strong reach? No. Played no. in summer climates, like Costa Rica? No. Surfing, I, I think perhaps? he was offered no, a little of answers. <laughs> He's from Manitoba. Curling. Some of Curling. the greatest curlers in the world. Right. Right. Uh, it's not really a sport. No points. It's fastball. Not really a sport. Fastball. <laughs> fastball. <laughs> fastball and curling. Is fastball a sport? He's so tall, he can just sort of reach out and drop it there <laughs> without, without going over the hog line. Hog line. Really good. Where's your slider? Right. At issue, name three conservative leadership candidates not pictured here. Oi, oi. Um, Aaron O'Toole. Kelly Leach. Kelly Leach. And, and um, Rick Max. Peterson. Good. No, he's there. No, he's there. No, Maxim Bellamy. Maxim Bellamy. Uh, yes. I need a judge's warning on that. We came well, up with a name. It wasn't. Yeah, but was she's so. Well, we corrected ourselves within our time limit. Yes. I'm right. not wearing my glasses. She was not speaking any argument here. Can we get them that? Do, we, do we, we want to do a that. height? Jamie uh, Watt. Guess Jamie Middleton. Watt gave. <laughs> okay, insiders. <laughs> name a conservative leadership candidate who has never held public office. Rick Peterson. Rick Peterson is correct. <laughs> David, well you can join in anytime you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm pacing myself. <laughs> Like that issue. Game. How many seats did the Conservatives lose in Atlantic Canada in the last federal election? All of them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good, but I was actually yeah. looking for a number. But that's, that's very good. Between 9 and 12, but I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, they lost 11. That's close, but no cigar. 14. Ah. Yeah. One in Newfoundland, one in PEI, four in Nova Scotia, eight in New Brunswick. Uh, insiders, video, here it is. Hi, my name is Candace Bergen. What year was I first elected to the House of Commons? It's either 06 or 08, boys? 06. 06. Yeah, your time is almost up on that guess. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wait! <laughs> oh, wait is right. <laughs> that evens up. What? That evens up, you two. We're even. <laughs> All right, so I, this way I won't have them complaining after the end of the show if you end up winning. Add issue. How many independent senators, how many independent senators are there? You have your choice. 30, 42, or 51? 42. 42 is correct. The insiders. How many vacant seats are there in the Senate right now? I know how many in the House. No, 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 the Senate. <laughs> the I one you can apply for, for. No. 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 Pick a number. Do we have a chart giving us options? No. 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 All right. 11. It's a low number. Can we a steal number. a point? Six. 11. No. It's a I think it's even less than 11. It's a low number. Don't Give help them. Go. <laughs> Six. They need help okay. on this uh, You don't get any points, but if you want to see... I think it's one. You are correct yeah. at one, but no. it's so no really points. No number. He filled all the no seats points. and then someone just retired. But oh. your question is, for uh, at issue, comes from, um, from Elizabeth May. Oh. There she is. Hi, I'm Elizabeth May. What is the official name of the new Canadian government climate plan? Oi. Yeah. <laughs> oi, it is not oi. Framework it is in his columns. Change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that there's PAC in there and PAN Canadian. Do, 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 framework. Or climate change. Three, there, I'm sure there's PAC in there, but I may be Go wrong. Go ahead and I don't say one. something. Blur it out anyway. I know. Say anything. And yeah. <laughs> PAN Canadian Framework on Climate Change. Oh, that's so close. I, that is worth a point. Thank you. The Pan-Canadian Framework on Clean Growth and Climate Change. Clean oh Growth and God. Climate Change. Mm -hmm. I just want to know, like, who comes up with these names? <laughs> like, really. There was no... That's a give me. Uh, that's, we're giving them that one. Yeah. Maybe you read it in French. Uh, yeah. For the insiders, it's been a year since the Prime Minister welcomed some of the first Syrian refugees to Canada at Toronto's Pearson Airport. Approximately how many Syrian refugees have now arrived in Canada 30, since 30, November 30. of 2015? Is it... 26,000, 37,000, or 40,000? 37,402 as of December 4th. You are correct. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, add issue. You're welcome. Not my parents. My parents have been trying to sponsor Remedy and. Okay. And not that she was studying for this. All right. No, my parents threw it at me. It's all my parents. It's, uh... it's bad. Add issue. Conservative leadership issue. candidate Kelly Leach has proposed screening immigrants, refugees, and visitors for Canadian values. Which of the following is not one of Leach's five Canadian values? Oh. Uh, is it equal opportunity, hard work, helping others, generosity, patriotism, freedom, and tolerance? Uh. Which is not one of the five? Patriotism? There are only three. Generosity? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're running out of time. Patriotism. 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 You are correct, Andrew Coyne. We have a video question. Rosie's back with us. Here she is. Hey, Rosie. Kelly Leach used to be the Minister of Status of Women. How things have changed. Who is the current Minister of Status of Women? Patty Hajib. From Thunder Bay. That's your answer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, the Rosie, minister. what's the correct answer? The current Minister of Status of Women is Patty Haidu. You're correct, Rosie, and so were the insiders. Um, that issue. What is the name of the first woman who will appear on the $10 bill? Viola Desmond. Viola, Viola Desmond, yeah. Yeah, or Viola Desmond, as yeah, she's Viola. known. You're correct, Viola Desmond. Um, for the insiders, name another woman who made the short list. There's so many. Yeah, there are four others who are on the short list. Name one of them. <laughs> Can we steal <laughs> a point? It's <laughs> <Is that, laughs> your department. <laughs> Was there was the scientist, there was the airman. Actually, we're looking for the name. Nelly McClung? No, Nelly wasn't on there. Was Tegas Kaskai on there? No. No. It was Chantel Bear was one of the other. No, there was E. Pauline Johnson, Elsie McGill, Bobby Rosenfeld, and Idola St. Jean. Idola, as she is known. Or Idola, as she is known, <laughs> correctly. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, video question here. A very special guest asking the next question. Hello there. Here's a question from beautiful Rideau Hall. Who was the first female Governor General of Canada? And wait a minute. It's for us. It's it for is us. for yeah. our yeah. issue, sorry. Like Jean Sauvé. Jean Sauvé, I think. Yeah. It must be. Yeah. Let's, let's uh, see the answer from the Governor General. The answer, of course, is Jean Mathilde Sauvé. Now, she was also the first female speaker of the House of Commons and the first female cabinet member from Quebec. A bonus point if you can name one of Madame Sauvé's other firsts. Okay, this is a tough question. That's to you. Uh, but it is to the insiders. Another first. Besides the Jean Sauvé. Sauvé had. Besides the two. She created the Jean Sauvé uh, school in Montreal. That's not... <laughs> um, That's close. Yeah, she's sponsoring... What's it. before school? <laughs> hey. Hey, 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 hey. This is how we get into these... Okay. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't get that. It's daycare. Open the first daycare oh, on, on Parliament Hill. Hill. Children of the Hill. My children Too go late. went to that daycare. Oh, wow. Well, a lot of good that did you. That was a... Yeah, the house uh, issued that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but she, it, okay. she started it. Yeah, as speaker, she did. She was okay. responsible right. for that, but I would right. argue that would be more of a house legislative thing. Yeah. It's too sure. late okay, now. Yeah, whatever. the first uh, workplace daycare okay. for people to know. Right. They're okay. setting an example. <laughs> <laughs> that issue. How many female MPs are there in the House of Commons? Oh. Uh, Do we get it? You got to hit the number right on. Uh, Sixty-eight. Try that. What did you say? It's not. What did you say, Andrew? Oh. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go good? ahead. 68? Oof. You had one of those numbers right. 26%. I don't know what... 88. Mm -hmm. 88. Yeah. All right. This is intense. Uh, check the score during the break to make sure all is right, and then we'll move on. Please stay with us. Really, really, who picked that music? The numbers check out. The score is 10 for at issue, 7 for the insider. So some catching up to do. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. This next question. Hi, I'm Catherine McKenna. The title of my cabinet position changed when I became minister. It used to be minister of the environment. 
what is the name of my cabinet position now? The answer, Minister Kathleen? Minister of Environment and Climate Change. That is correct. Minister of Environment and Climate Change. To add issue. How many seats are there in the House of Commons? 338. You're right. <laughs> it's our lucky night. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Uh, that was the importance of the coin toss, obviously. Uh, to the insiders, <laughs> of those right. seats, the 338, how many are currently occupied? Not like at this precise oh, yeah. second, because <laughs> well, there's all three vacancies. Holidays. That's correct. Jamie, that's very good. Jesus, man. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> Give me that. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that issue. Name one person who has left a vacant seat. Morgan de That's correct. Ah. The other two are Jason Stephen Penny. Harper and Stephen Jason Penny. Mm -hmm. Insiders, where does Stephen Harper work now? Is it of these three? Um, a. A, Denton's a law firm. You're right. <laughs> Well, and technically as a business relationship. Yes, yeah. Don't <laughs> talk yourself out of the answer. <laughs> Do warehouse people like Talk about special guests. Watch this. Hi, I'm Tom Mulcair. Last year's federal election saw the NDP add 16 new MPs. Name two of our rookies. All right, so people never think of it, uh, the NDP this mm -hmm. way. They did have 16 new MPs. They That's lost a lot of older MPs. Job. But we need two. Uh, Karen Trudel and Sheena, Sheila Malcolmson. Yes, mm -hmm. that's correct. Good on you. Well, good. Very I can good. Well you more if you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Insiders, within one percentage point, what was the official voter turnout in the 2015 elections? 62. Yep. 62? Yep. That's what I guessed yesterday. And I was told by our researchers I was wrong. 68? 68. 68.3 68. 68. Yeah. is the correct mm -hmm. answer. So what happened? Unfortunately, to that? they did not get it. <laughs> the 62 did, of the election Yeah, that's right. Um, at issue, what percentage of the vote did the Liberals get on election night in 2015 within half a percentage point? 39.5? 39. 39. That is so on the number. Yeah, but you don't get bonus points for getting it exactly right, but we're very impressed <laughs> that you did. Mm -hmm. Rosie has another video question for us. Okay, this one, this one's hard. <laughs> How long was the shortest parliamentary session? I'll take answers within a week of the actual length. Well, it may be hard for you, Rosie, but some of us were actually there yes, when this happened. Really <laughs> so wouldn't it be so um, okay. When he came in uh, insiders. Came into the, the coalition. Oh, that's you have an answer? Yeah. I would know. Right, but what was the number? How many weeks? With a, yeah, with within a week. I don't know. How many weeks? I have no idea. Any time now? Eight. No, 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 longer. Um, just bear with me, hand. Uh, no, the answer okay, was so eight. 12. The okay. answer oh. was eight. Okay. okay. And the answer was correct. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Way to go, Dan. Okay. Wait, wait, 2008. When was that? When was yes, that? Yes, please. To give us the year or something. Oh, sorry. 31st Parliament, 1979. Oh, it was just yeah. two months. Yeah. It was the Joe Clark uh, government. Moving on. Wilfrid Laurier used the term "sunny way" in a speech he delivered in 1895. What was that speech about? That issue. It's about the Manitoba schools question. Correct. That is absolutely correct. Insiders. Parliament's vigorous opening debate this time last year prompted someone in the House of Commons to make the following comment. I think it's been 25 minutes and the sunny ways are over. Who said that? <laughs> Take a stab. Sounds like Mulcair. Yeah, it sounds like Mulcair or Charlie Angus. Okay. okay. Lana Ambrose. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. At issue, here's a quote that led to some discussion in the House of Commons recently. Who said this? Why does the government treat Alberta like a <clears throat> fart in the room that nobody wants to talk about or acknowledge? Michelle Rempel. Michelle Rempel. That's right. Very she didn't say it as well as I just did. But. Very unparliamentary. Mm -hmm. right. F-A-R-T. <laughs> She's Elizabeth May did, did ask. Elizabeth May did ask her to withdraw that one. Yeah, yeah. Calling it distinctly unparliamentary. Indeed. Okay, we got to take a quick a break. Debate, I'm sure. um, <laughs> we'll look at the score one more time. Hmm. Maybe the final question is worth extra points. Maybe not. Guess you'll have to wait and see <laughs> when we come back.
All right, the final moments as we get ready to present this trophy. <laughs> a true piece of Canadiana up there with the Stanley and Grey Cups, the legendary <laughs> At Issue Insiders Cup. No. The insiders have won it twice before, At Issue only once. 16 to 11 in favor of At Issue, you'd think. It's a done deal, but no, this next question's worth five points. <laughs> and it goes to the insiders. Here it is. At the 2016 Parliamentary Press Gallery Dinner in Ottawa, Sophie Trudeau got up on stage and demonstrated a yoga pose. Here's the video of that moment. You should be doing more of this because you'd be hitting less people, my love. All right, so what is the name of that yoga pose? Is it warrior pose, bound lotus pose, two-legged sage pose, or the peacock pose? Okay, it's not warrior. No, that's it. Um, okay. Go for it. B. B, the bound lotus pose. <laughs> Jamie, like I thought you'd know this because I, I know you've done this before. <laughs> He's a <big> practitioner. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> you are wrong. It is the two legged Peacock. sage oh, pose. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Andrew knew Sorry. that you do for sure. Yoga. Well, there we go. We're All not right. Very so, I thought you said we could steal the points back. Too late. But you don't need to. Well, uh, this would have been <laughs> the tie. This would have been the tiebreaker that you would have had. Canadian Geographic declared an official bird for Canada this year. Oh Name my that gosh, bird. Come on! Come on. Who doesn't know this question <laughs> answer. They don't. <laughs> oh! Oh! Five points. Oh god. Five points over to us. Whiskey gray bird. <laughs> close. The old close. whiskey gray bird. That was <laughs> we'll steal it. No. No. No, the gray okay. jay, the whiskey <laughs> jack. Whiskey jack. Close enough. Whiskey gray. She it's said. the gray. Okay. She merged <laughs> two names. Unfortunately, they were only worth the price one great, point. The great that thing. issue are the winners for the 2016 yeah. Yeah. Congratulations! We are tied. We are tied for the <laughs> special ad issue inside this cup. We thank you Thank you. Congratulations. All. Thank that, you. that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much at home as we did doing it. All the best from all of us.